I don't see where it went wrong there. Why? Because you spoke about it very much publicly on social media. So me putting that in, what is the issue? Then she's saying she's upset because I put screenshots of me and her conversation. Would you, why are you upset because I put screenshots of me and your conversation? You shouldn't be upset that I put screenshots in about our conversation. No, because people need to know if I'm telling the truth. And don't say you fell out with Shelley. No, it's not me. I'm not the problem here. You lot love, you lot love this shit of me painting many to be the bad guy. You lot love to make me look like I'm the issue. I told you that like, I woke up in the morning to people sending me stuff on TikTok, right? People are sending me lives on my Instagram. People literally went on TikTok, send me the live, save the live and send it to me on Instagram. And then I woke up, when I woke up, I saw a long ass paragraph from her. And this is how it's all started. And now you know when you talk about, oh, you fell out with her. No, I didn't fall out with nobody. It's just, I know what you, I know what's coming. This is something I'm prepared for this shit. I know what's about to come. Are you lot, some of you lot that are coming in here must be new or something, because you don't know understanding what's going on. Good girl. Huh? Fam, she's telling me, it's in this phone actually. She's basically saying she doesn't rate this. She's upset that I mentioned her name. Um, I keep getting people messaging me, including my family members, saying that you look like you're snaking me. Even me being on the, the thumbnail, you post your screenshots of our conversation, me talking about childcare and this. Babes, what are you talking about? Because respectfully, you knew it was going to be the story time. Stop, like, like, let's not make this a thing. Like, because when, like, everybody in the other house does not have an issue with my fucking story time. Like, nobody's come on social media and made this a problem. No one. You're the only person that has a problem with my fucking story time. Like, I defended you in my story time. I didn't talk down on you. I didn't disrespect you. I defended you. I cleared up your name when certain rumours that people were saying about you. Like, how are you upset about a story time I've done? You've got a big part to play in the whole UK badders. She's talking about, oh, I should not have mentioned her name. I shouldn't have done. I shouldn't have done a story time and put her in it. I have to put you in the story time because you are a part of the story time. You're the reason why I've ended up in Croatia. So how the hell can I not put you in a story time? What are you talking about? Now you're trying to do this whole manipulation thing and make me feel sorry for you. No, this is why I said I should have got out of Gatwick and went home. But you, you came with this guilt trip. Oh, you made me do this. You made me do that. So I continue. I continue and I went. I went. I took accountability in my story time and said I should have stand on my two feet and I should have went nowhere. But you're sending me two long ass paragraphs to make me feel bad about something that you picked up yourself to go to Croatia. So all this, oh, I'm making you look bad and all these things is pathetic. You made yourself look bad. Same way I made myself look bad, you made yourself look bad. Goody made herself look bad. Amy made herself look bad. Rain Doll made herself look bad. Everybody that went to that show made themselves look bad. We all knew what we was going to get ourselves into. We're not doing this whole emotional shit here. I'm sorry, I don't care. Like, I'm not with it. Instant block and delete, bro. I don't, I don't have time for this bullshit, bro. I'm 28, I'm not a ch child. Like, I'm not a fucking kid. And don't text my friend, because now you're texting me. Grow the fuck up. And when I speak, it's, oh, Renee's rude. Renee this, Renee that. No, I don't care. I stand on real shit. I'm not with the fake behavior. I'm not with it at all. I'm not with it. I don't care if she's watching. No one told you to go. On, no one told you to go on TikTok last night. No one. No one told you to to make people be sending me shit. Listen, stop telling me to allow the girl. You're not going to make me feel bad about something I have not done. What are you not talking about? Like this Mary practice girl, shut the fuck up and go suck your mum about. Oh, you have it, Jane. Seriously, I've been minding my business. I've not been on social media. Do you understand what I'm saying? Understand the situation before you lot speak. I'm getting told I'm making I'm a snake because I literally sat down in a story time and I spoke about what happened. You're not going to call me a snake. You're not going to say I'm making you look bad. You're not going to say that my your family and all these people are not happy about certain things because of what I said. Like, what did I say that was so bad in the story time? Why is it that nobody? Nobody else in nobody else that I spoke about is upset. Why is it that nobody else that I really cussed the fuck out is upset? You don't see these other girls on social media talking about the situation. Please, like, let's not do this. Like, 
I told you already, I was sleeping. People are sending me her, her live video that she was on TikTok talking about the whole... I don't know what she was doing. People, talk, people message me talking about the situation. I've screenshotted every single person's paragraph that they sent me, right? And I I'm sitting there and I even called, I called people and I said, Here because I don't understand. Everybody's saying, "When you didn't speak bad about her, you didn't disrespect her, you actually defended her." Like you're not gonna then message me a long paragraph, two long paragraphs, letting me feel really bad about my story time. I didn't do nothing wrong. So how am I a snake? How? Make it make sense. It's not making sense. You're and then she said, oh, you should never put me in your story time. You should have kept me out of it. You knew I was doing a story time. I told you before I done the story time that I was doing the story time. I asked you for screenshots. I asked you for evidence. You sent them to me. So why the hell are you acting like you never knew you was going to be in the story time? This is why I can't be around females, bro. I can't because this whole, this whole, this is bullshit to me. Honestly, it doesn't even make sense. I wouldn't have been in I wouldn't have been in Croatia if it wasn't for her. I cancelled and I said I didn't want to go and I showed you lot proof and evidence that I never wanted to go no more. When I got to Gatwick, I didn't want to go no more. And the guy, literally the guy that dropped us there was like, it's, it's not too late, you can let me know and I can drop you back. So how can I do a story time and not mention what took place before I even got to Croatia? Make it make sense, please. Where is the thing you got? Some what fit, what stuff should have been left unsaid? Let me make something very clear to you again about her child, about childcare. She has gone on social media and she has spoken about this childcare situation several times. When we got to Croatia, she told Lani she paid for childcare. She told basically everybody she paid for childcare. Anything that I have said in my story time is what's come out of her mouth already. Last week, I was on TikTok Live with her goody, a her goody, Amy, safe space. There was about 1,000 somebody, 1,000 people in the safe space, and she said in her in in the live that she paid for childcare. So why is it that I posted a screenshot? It's an issue when you've been saying this by yourself on social media. She spoke about childcare before I spoke about childcare. And this is what you don't have to understand. She brought it to the internet. She told people that she paid for childcare. I didn't. I just posted a screenshot when my story time came out. That's all I did. So everybody needs to... I know it's, it's easy to hate me. I know it's easy to make me look like I'm the bad guy because I always look like I'm the bad guy. But what we're not going to do is make me look like I'm going mad. Because honestly, I've not done nothing wrong. Honestly, I dropped my story time and since I dropped my story time, I've been packing my suitcase and I've been lit spending time with my family. I've not been arguing with people on social media. I've not been going on live every day arguing with people. I've not been doing that. You don't see me in the, in the mix anymore. You understand what I'm saying? But you're not going to do this whole thing where you're talking about a situation and you've got people messaging me, making me look like I'm messed up. People are saying, man, go on her TikTok. She's talking, she's on live. Didn't know. We're not doing that right now. We're not doing that right now. Please, I'm sorry. My story time was not an issue. I didn't do nothing wrong. And we're not going to do this emotional... We're, gonna, we're not going to do this emotional, like... Fuck. Okay, but I've not said she wasn't a good friend. So what are you lot talking about? I did, I'm not sitting here saying she's not a good friend. I'm just sitting here saying that I don't see where I went wrong with me putting her in my story time. This is what I'm saying. At the end of the day, we're going to be grown adults. You're upset because you're getting backlash. You're upset because, as a mother, you should not have picked up yourself and flew to a country to fight bitches. At the end of the day, you take accountability for that shit. 
don't don't make me feel bad and don't make me feel like I've done something to you. I ain't done nothing to you. I don't know where this energy is coming from for me. You know, at the end of the day, you're wrong for how you carried yourself as a mum. Do you understand what I'm saying? And because you know people are getting onto you for it, you're trying to project that energy to me. Don't project the energy to me because I never forced you and I never told you to pick up yourself and go somewhere else. No, at the end of the day, I didn't want to go no more and I came to my senses, but because I felt bad, and because of how you was making me feel, I, I left and I went with you. Same way. Like, I wasn't going to let you go by yourself. You understand what I'm saying? But let's not do this whole... You're making me look bad. Like, people are, take, like, my, people are saying that you're snaking me because of what you said in your story time. What? Are you talking about? What's wrong is wrong is wrong. I'm sorry, but I don't, I'm not doing this whole because you're my friend. Like, no. What do you mean I should not have posted you my story times? How can I not post you my story time? You knew I was going to post you. I told you. It's not like I'd done the story time. I never said nothing. I told Goody, I told Amy, I told her we're in a group chat. I asked her to send me the receipts and she sent me the receipts. You knew I was going to be a dude. You knew, you knew. So you feeling bad and making me feel bad is fucked up. And this is why I can't fuck with people no more, bro. Because at this point, it's like, I sat down, I spoke about Puff Puff. I spoke about Lani. I spoke about every single girl in the villa. I, I cussed out Tamara. None of these girls have come for me. None of these girls have reached out or gone on social media and made, and made a problem about it. None. Those that, those that I spoke about should have said something because I understand it because I, I was rude about them. But none of them have said anything. But here it goes, Renee now. I'm a snake. I've done this. I've done that. What? I'm not taking. Let me tell you something. No one in this life can make me take my story time. Are you crazy? Nobody can't make me take my story time. You must be God. You have to be the police officer for me to take up that. Only the police officer can say, Renee, take off your story time. Nobody can't tell me to take nothing. Respectfully. Are you crazy?